This is a quick demo of Functions as a Service, or FAS, which is a framework for doing serverless with Docker. So this is the GitHub repository, and it's available at alexellis slash FAS. If you head over to here, you will see the test drive, and this is a quick markdown file that gives you um, a walk through some of the basic functions that are included. Now, you need to be in Docker Swarm mode on your computer, and you also need to clone the GitHub repository. But once you've done that, there's a single command that deploys the whole of FAS, including sample functions, as a Docker stack. Each of these functions will be pulled down from the web, from the Docker Hub, and they'll be started up and run on your machine. And then as soon as you're ready, you'll be able to go into the UI for FAS and start looking at the functions. So let's um, see if it's ready. So immediately you see the API gateway for FAS, which is where you can create new functions and look at the ones in the sample stack. Now, because the Docker stack we're using here is called func, all of the functions we've created just now have that prefix. One of the functions for an example is the node info, which gives you detailed information about the computer that you're currently connected to. And because this is running in a container, this information will be whatever is on the Docker host. This looks a bit like Postman in that you put in a request and you get your response back in plain text and you see what the HTTP code is. A quite useful function is the markdown function, which converts markdown into HTML. Now each function has its own URL so we can call that same code just like this from curl, passing in slash d and returning HTML. If you want a bit more information, you can pass dash v, which gives you the verbose data. Now what's also interesting is that you can actually post up an entire file from your local system. In this instance, I'll post the readme file for FAS, and we get that converted to markdown. And if you're interested, you can type the word time before this command, and you can get an idea of the timings. Now, if timing is important to you, if you also look on local localhost 9090, there's a range of different metrics that are being pulled out of FAS all the time from the gateway, including how often your functions have been called. And what can be interesting is to go and type in the keyword rate here and see over something like a 20 second window how many times those functions are being called. Let's take another look at the sample applications. So we also have a Golang sample here called Hubstats. And if you type in somebody's Docker Hub name, you can find out how many repositories they have on, on Docker Hub. I seem to have quite a lot here. And then there's the library account, which marks all the official repos and they have 139. Back over on the Prometheus logging, we will now see two more um, spikes. We can see what the function was, we can see what the error code was, whether it was a 200, which means it's okay, or whether it was a 500. Now, one of the other things that's interesting here is that you can create a really tight integration with something like um, Alexa. Now I happen to have a skill here which I've built out in Node.js 
which is in the sample repository. And what that does is it goes over to the Docker web page and finds out how many Docker captains there are. I've packaged this up as a FAS function. Here's the Docker file. And I've also pushed that to the Docker hub. So what we can do is create a new function for this. And then we'll try it out with the Alexa just by me here. So we have the image. The service name is what we want our function to be accessible by on the internet. And the F process is what code the um, Docker container should run. The network for the sample stack is always func functions. Now we click create and in a couple of moments that service will arrive on the left hand side in the list of all our other functions. There we go. Now if we had a sample JSON file we could click the JSON button here paste it in and get a response from the code. We can do something one step better, which is to actually record the unit while we talk to it. So invocation count is currently zero. Alexa, ask Docker how many Docker captains there are. currently 60 docker captains. So we see the invocation count up, went up by one. And on our Prometheus graph, we can now see the captain's intent was called. Now there are other metrics that are collected that are also interesting. We have the sum of all of the invocations and how long that's taken of every function. And then if you divide that by the count, that will give you a, a rough average. And we can see that actually that captain's intent, because it goes off to the internet, and parses a, a HTTP website, that's actually quite slow. It takes about two seconds, even if you run that outside of a, a container. Um, but something like uh, the node info in Node.js is much quicker. And I'm going to show you something now that's very, very fast. So normally you create a function in something like Node.js or Python, but actually you can create a function out of anything, including the built-in utilities in Alpine Linux. So let's have a look at a service that will generate us very strong hashes. And we'll call it hash. We'll then put a process of SHA-512 sum as the process to run. Now, this happens to be a process which is already in the Alpine Linux base image. So we're effectively running something that's built in and it should be very fast. So here's our hash function. Now let's put a secret message in here. And instantly we get a hash generated. Now just like earlier, we were able to um, use curl. What I'm gonna do is the same again. And I will just want hash of quick message, and there we are. Very timely, very quick, going through the whole stack and coming back out again. But what if we had a rise in requests for this, and actually people needed to get hold of this, uh, a lot of hashes, maybe we were running a batch job. Well, we can kind of simulate that with a while loop. So we'll do an infinite while loop we have a very short pause in it.
and now we're generating dozens and dozens of hashes. In the UI, we can see the invocation count going up. And what's happening behind the scenes is that as Prometheus monitors this metric, it will start to see that there's some stress on it. And a alert that I defined earlier will start to become pending. And then as that's been raised for long enough, it will fire a message into FAS and FAS will actually scale that function up. So we can see now that that function is actually firing and we have five replicas. So we went from one up to five. And as we keep this running, it will keep increasing up to a limit of 20, which is something that you can also configure if you need to. So what happens if that load suddenly backs off? Well, FAS will detect that and Prometheus will send another alert to the gateway and the replicas will get scaled back to one again. In the meantime, we should be able to see a graph showing that data. So again, we have service count and we see that we got scaled up from one to five on the hash function and then it scaled back down again. And we could continue triggering this manually, but unless we reach the threshold predefined in the sample stack, we won't get another alert. So this concludes the quick demo. We've seen an Amazon Echo skill being integrated, and we've seen a custom function that we've created with an existing binary. If you'd like to get started, go over to the test drive. We also have a number of sample functions, which are explained, and then some base images for things like Hello World. So if Java was what you wanted to work with, there's an example Docker file and handler file here. Thank you for watching this demo. You can find the code on GitHub and get in touch with me on Twitter at AlexEllisUK.